Dawn Xiang, and I'm a technology consultant at Deloitte. I'm Cheryl Anadi, and I'm a manager at Deloitte Digital. The Internet of Things is the idea that all technological devices can be connected to the Internet and use the Internet to share and receive data between each other. I see the Internet of Things all the time in my job in the pharmaceutical industry. Companies are now able to take wearable device data and get real-time information about their patients' physiological responses. Machine learning is the ability for computers now to analyze data and make decisions almost based on data and, and patterns. A lot of social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter are using machine learning today. And one example is that Facebook often puts posts and comments at the top of your newsfeed based on your past interactions. So virtual reality is the computer generated simulation of a 3D image or environment that you can interact with in a seemingly real or physical way. One example of virtual reality is the idea that we can help patients that are more homebound and confined to their spaces and allow them to experience other environments without having to physically transport them there. One example is being able to simulate a room and place furniture in it so you can know before you buy it how it's going to look. So touch commerce is the combination of touchscreen technology and the one-click shopping experience. Touch Commerce allows you to purchase something with just a single click, so the Amazon Dash button is an example of this. Touch Commerce is really going to improve user experience from simplifying the user login process to decreasing the number of clicks or touches it takes to get an item from the online shopping cart into an order that's confirmed and on its way and being delivered, um, improving overall user satisfaction. Cognitive technology are things like natural language processing that allows you to automate certain functions that you used to need a lot of people to do. Initially, we expect it to impact the software industry the most, with 95% of software companies adopting cognitive technologies by 2020. So an example of this might be in a call center where someone calls in and the, now a computer can recognize what they need to call about and direct their call based on that. Regardless of which industry you choose to go in, staying up to date on your technology trends will help you become a more competitive candidate. My advice would be to get up to speed on all kinds of technology trends because they really apply across the board. Music